Sometimes I wish that some of my plugins had a randomization feature where it would randomize the settings to come up with new and unexpected sounds. Well, with a little bit of work, you can make your own randomizer. Here's what it sounds like in action. If you find this video useful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my latest content. I'm going to show you how to do this in Ableton Live 11. The way this works is that your DAW has access to all your plugins controls. It needs this so that it can remember how you configured your plugin whenever you reopen a project, as well as be able to automate its parameters. What we're going to do is assign macros within your DAW to a few exposed plugin settings. We'll then hit the randomization button to randomize the macros and create a new sound. Let's pull out a few parameters. In Ableton, you can expand the plugin's device box by clicking on the little triangle next to the on-off button. Click the configure button and then click on a parameter in your plugin that you'd like to randomize. You'll see a slider appear for that parameter within your DAW. Each new control you select in your plugin will now appear in this panel. Now let's assign a macro to this control. Right click on the device and select group to assign it to an instrument rack. Click the show hide macro on the left to expose the empty macro knobs. In Ableton 11 you can now have up to 16 macros. Hit the plus or minus buttons to add or remove macros from the panel. Now all you need to do is right click on the new slider for your plugins control and select map to macro 1. You should rename the macro to make this easier. Let's add a few macros. I'm going to add Envelope 1 Sustain and Release knobs. Now the real fun begins. Hit the Randomize button at the top of the instrument rack a few times and see what you get. You'll notice that the settings are sometimes too large. We need to limit the minimum and maximum values to reasonable levels. Hit the map button at the top of the instrument rack to bring up the macro mappings panel. You can use the sliders to set the minimum and maximum values, but you don't need to guess. Turn the macro knob all the way down and then adjust the minimum value while listening to the sound. Then turn the macro all the way up and adjust the maximum value. You can do this to as many of the macros as you'd like. Now assign as many macros as you want. Let's try the following for this example. Envelope 1's Decay, Sustain, and Release settings, which we've already done. Oscillator 1, 2, and 3's Wavetable Position. You can select the wavetables you want, but I'll stick with basic shapes for this demo. Oscillator 1, 2, and 3's Volume Level. I'm going to lower Oscillator 3 an octave. Oscillator 2's Number of Voices and Detune Amount. Filter 1's Cutoff. Adjust the other filter settings as desired. The distortion amount. The reverb mix knob. Finally, I'm going to put FM modulation on oscillator 1 coming from oscillator 2, turn the amount all the way down, and assign a macro to the modulation depth. Feel free to play around with different macros. Don't forget that you can add envelopes and LFOs to add more motion. The envelope and LFO settings may be assigned to macros as well. Finally, I'm going to assign the last macro to the overall volume. Then right click on this macro and select Exclude Macro from Randomization. This will let me easily adjust the volume when it gets too loud or quiet. Let's try it out. Randomize the macros a few times and see what we get. If you find something interesting, don't forget that you can adjust the macros and other settings to clean up the sound. This is just a starting point for getting new ideas. If you're in Ableton Live 11 and you find settings you like, you can save them to variations in the instrument rack. Click the Show Hide Variations button and add a new variation. Give it a name 
and click the Save button next to its name. Then add a new variation, switch to it, and randomize some more until you find another new setting you like. Don't forget to save the settings to the variation if you like it. A star next to the name means that you have unsaved settings. Here's another video you may enjoy. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.